Great Debaters Contest is brought to you by Safaricom M-Pesa. The winner of the Great Debaters Contest is Utumishi Academy. <laughs> Hello guys, we're actually having a special episode where we discuss with you, our viewers, on how season four moved all of us. We get the judges' takes, we get their personal take, we get their professional take, and generally give you an outlook on what to expect this coming season five. Season four was a whirlwind. We had a hundred schools, above a hundred schools actually. We managed to cover three regions and today we want to take you behind the scenes. What do the judges think about when they're judging? What stood out for them? What did they like? What didn't they like? We just want to talk to them and welcome you, the viewer, into our world so that you feel more interactive with us and we also want to find out what are we looking for in season five what are we going to remember from season four and what we have to look forward to i try to imagine sitting on the judging panel it's it must be so difficult at some point especially when you have schools like strathmore and utumishi you know you wonder what do you take away from them so as judges what was your biggest challenge not just in judging the final episode but in in, in general you know all all throughout the season all right, what Maria, was your biggest let, challenge? let me answer that mm -hmm. uh, or try to answer that i remember at one point i had almost a fight with judge nancy <laughs> over over a physical fight Look, yeah, it, it, it was it, so it, much it tension, almost got the there. I was in the middle. I had to, <laughs> had to work it out. It so Especially in tension. reference to Philip, you know, of Utumishi. Uh, maybe, uh, you know, we had a variety of styles. Look at Ron from uh, Strathmore. The way he's calm, he's collected. At one point, I almost wrote him off. You know, you really have to listen to get what he's talking about and really talk sense. Think about Philip, the way he speaks. He's not loud. So, you know, sometimes I, I, I had to change what my thinking about debate. You know, debate is not all about being loud. Mm. You know, Ron brought variety. Philip brought variety. Wayaki has his own style, you know. All of us remember <laughs> Satao is dead, you know. That is what we remember from the, other, from an the last season. That's statement. It, you know, was, it was an just awesome had so much impact. Think about Kahuhia girls, you know. They also had their own strengths, you know. I, I remember, was it Ndeti? Yeah. Neman Deti, the Deti. singer, she exactly. sang. Somebody give me a hallelujah. hallelujah. <laughs> she had this rallying call. Those, you know? those are the light moments uh, in the debate. You know, debate is not about being serious. There are some light moments. I think some schools were able to capture that very well. I think one of the things that we have learned as judges, and, and let me just say that um, judging the various um, episodes of this, of this debate, right from you know, the very first season, has been a learning exercise for us. And I think we get wowed all the time that with every new season, it's a totally new experience. Um, one of the things that really stood out for me and always stands out for me is the, the level of mastery of topic. That, you know, you have such brilliant minds. It's, it's amazing. And I think for me, that's one thing that I really look, look for in, in the debaters. Um, one of the things that we've had to do over the last couple of years, and not just for myself, but you know, the entire panel of judges, is that we have to approach that bench well read. <laughs> you know, we can no longer take it for granted that you're just coming there to judge a debate. You must, um, you must be well read because if you're not, then you know, um, the debaters can actually put you to shame. You know, so we, we have to spend a lot of time reading, making sure that we are up and current with what's happening, and that for every motion that, uh, that they're going to debate on, that we're actually on top, on top of things. And that speaks of something. That when you look at the history of the Great Debaters Contest, there's a history to it. And I'm, I'm a believer in understanding the reason as to why you know, various things exist. When you look at the history of the Great Debaters Contest, why did it come to being? You know, a, 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 an opportunity, a platform for young people to articulate issues that concern them, not just locally, not just regionally, but globally, so that we are able to influence the next generation of leadership, not just in this country, but in the entire world. And having um, Honorable Sakhaja sit in, that, um, in the judging of the finals, you know, for him, he was, he was amazed at what these young people can do. He, he, he said several times, my goodness, 
when these guys get to parliament, when they get into positions of leadership, I would want to be alive at that time, just to see, you know, the kind of debates that we'll be having in parliament. Because if these young minds are this well-read, very articulate, very persuasive, you know, you name it, then we are taking a debate about national issues, about regional issues, about global issues a notch higher. And what we are saying is, look here, our differences aside, you know, and that's the history of, of the GDC, our differences aside, ethnicity doesn't matter, gender doesn't matter. What matters is, uh, can we, uh, do we understand the issues that concern us? Can we debate them from a position of knowledge? And can we persuade people and move them from where they sit to be able to, you know, to side with my side of the argument or the other side. And I think um, for many of us, when we go back at the end of a day and we, we, we evaluate, you know, the day and look at, at the motions and the debates, we get excited that we are influencing conversations in school buses as they're going back. We are influencing conversations in the dining halls as they go back. We are influencing conversations in the dormitories as they go back. And we are moving, we're basically moving the center, which the center for a long time has been What's your tribe? What's my tribe? You know, what's your gender? What's my gender? And we are saying, that aside, let's talk about issues that concern us. Let's talk about who impressed us. Let's talk about research. Let's read. Let's be up and current. And, and for me, that just, you know, if for nothing else, I get super excited about that. I, I know how you feel. And um, I think the best thing about having perhaps Utumishi and Strathmore at the finals was that they dispelled the myth that to be a good debater, you have to be this forceful, charismatic politician type person, you know, who comes at you like, Mr. Speaker, sir, you know. So, I, and I think that takes us to now the issue of the great debaters, the guys who actually ran for the title the great debater. We had such wonderful speakers. We had Valiant, we had Mohammed, <laughs> Neema, Frida, Please. all these people move you. So I, I don't know, who stood out for you guys as the great debaters? I, I know Mohammed Abdullahi won. I, I think, you know, he deserved that win. I've, I've never seen someone who absorbs information at such a high rate. He's like a sponge <laughs> like a ma- full of machine. inquisitiveness. I know, he's like a machine. So, but who stood out for you guys as a great debater? And um, what was the general quality of these debaters as they ran for this title? You know, one of the things about debate is ability to think on your feet. That is what is most important. You know, you can read, you can cram the information, but if you can think on your feet, then it means you have a very sharp mind. And, uh, and, and I love the humor that Grace of Bishop Gatimu brought uh, when she was asked a question, you know, less than a minute, why do you think you should be crowned the great debater? And that was a good question. Uh, and I really wanted to know how is she going to answer that? Uh, and she said, maybe I should be, and, and, and during that particular debate, I remember the lights went off, mm-hmm. you know, and then <laughs> came on again. You remember that? Yeah, yeah. sure. A pause, a minute uh-huh. of silence. And, and then she said, the reason why I should be crowned a great debater is maybe there is nothing much, but I'm not like, you know, uh, that was uh, Mohammed, Mohammed, who can make lights go off, yeah. you know. <laughs> and, and, and it was funny. But the way in which she brought it out really made me think that she deserves the title The Great Debater. She can think within a fraction of a minute and she can impress the audience. She moved me and I think I could have given it to her as The, as the Great Debater. Well, uh, you, know, you know, there were several occasions where particular people stood at particular times. <laughs> Just on face value before anybody spoke. I'm a, I'm a member who appreciates art. Neema had already won it, <laughs> all right? Yeah, just, just, just by appearance, and that's all. I had given it to her before she on spoke. On face value? Yes, on face value, yes. Just yeah. face value? Just not value? to go further now. <laughs> the second thing... <laughs> oh. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. The criteria guides, it you know. helps us. The second part was uh, just presence, and I think Koech and, uh, uh, also stood out very well, you know? He had a presence, and he was very sober-minded. You know, that leader, leader kind of look, you know? Um, but when it comes now to content, I think Mohammed took it uh, for me. I think at the end of it all, we just don't judge on the face value or just how you appear. It's also based on content, and debate is all about speaking. And I think for him, that's when he really brought out the, the real self of him. I mean, when he spoke out, and that's why we ended up, I guess, falling all for him. I think for me, um, a number of people stood out. Um, there's something about valiant. And I'm yet to understand what it is. Me <laughs> you know, I just, I just don't know what it is. It's, I don't know. I, I wouldn't call it eye candy like mine. 
It's just an X factor. She is yeah, trying just, to be X factor. You just can't put your finger on it. And and I guess that mystery itself also works for him. You know, there's something about him that that's just you know breathtaking in terms of how you know he comes on the stage and you know he has he appeals to the emotion valiant can make you cry oh you know valiant has made you cry correction oh yes, yes. he has <laughs> and has made mariam forget her lines oh okay yes <laughs> not even ashamed of it yeah. yeah so um i have never seen somebody with so much passion my goodness uh you know just on passion alone uh, he steals the, he steals the show uh, very passionate about um about what he's saying somebody who can think on their feet you know and and convince you you know within a split second you know he has that power and then of course Naima did that for me you know um she's very calm uh you know very gentle uh, but then again also very persuasive of course in addition to what Maina had said okay let's have a quick one now. i want i want to run a quick one by the judges two words for you to describe what makes a great debater judge major two words what makes a great debater intelligence let me talk about execution i think i i, I think I'll, i'll settle for that you know although execution is not really an adjective mario two words <laughs> what makes a great debater yes um intellect obviously you know intellect is so important um there's an x factor that is also very hard to put a factor because the rest of it once you have the intellect and a lot of these debaters do have amazing intellect there's something else that the guys like a lot of the people mohammed and um like valiant and frida and nema and, and brian all these guys they had like an x factor you couldn't put your finger on it so i think it's just finding that special thing that makes you stand out right so you have intellect yes but whatever it is whether it's your mystery whether it's your emotion whether it's your other talent like singing like nema whatever it is finding your little niche and and making use of it i think that's what's going to propel you to great debater two words one presence number two speaking no. okay yeah. judge buka intellect for me and style intellect and style two words moving undebatable undebatable yes by undebatable i mean an individual who will stand up there and feed you knowledge from his own perspective to the point that you feel debating against him is actually going the wrong way okay we'll be going on a short break keep watching we'll be right back take part in the m challenge by sending your short song rap or poem about safaricom m pesa on whatsapp and you could win 1000 shillings in safaricom airtime very interesting views this is why it's a judging panel creatives are interesting <laughs> people uh, of course we 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 love um the winners to mishi boys you know that those gentlemen did a really good job and so did strathmore to get to the finals all the people who ran for the great debaters and of course muhammad you know was amazing and um that was the last season but now we're moving into a new season we have so many hopes we are growing much bigger right we expect 300 schools is it over 320 uh so many debates so with that much growth with that much uh, improvement what are we looking for in the next season what should the people at home be waiting for from gdc maina all right i think this is an interesting season we're coming to mm-hmm. um we're going to go all across 10 counties uh not just counties we call them regions because some of them are uh several counties put put put, put together just like the provinces we had before but we have cut a few and um interesting enough is that we're going to have over 320 schools participate and this is because there has been a lot of interest schools calling us telling us hey when kisubu can you come over and, and such and because of the distance to nairobi uh but nonetheless we have decided to go on the ground and of course we appreciate in safaricom for coming on board to really help us in the movement when we get to a certain level the debates are so good these are national issues 
world issues, global issues that people can talk about. And um, we see these conversations going on online and they're affecting people not just in schools and in dormitories and in their buses home, they're affecting people at home as well and they're starting that conversation. So as a debater, you know, I can, I can, I can clearly tell the impact that debate has had in my life, you know. But when these guys come to the stage, what are they going to take home as debaters, you know, intellectually? Um, what kind of growth do they hope to ex should they hope to experience from being a part of great debaters? I think a lot, and, and maybe a debater would be the best person to answer that question, because they're the ones who stand on the you know on the stage and and debate. I'll ask Austin, what did you take home? From the great debate. Apart from the Mimi gift hamper? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I took home an opportunity that enlightened me, that showed me that I can influence, I can make an impact, I can touch individuals because I get stopped sometimes and guys, actually, they're not even aware that I host it, sadly. So they'd be like, wow, last time I checked, you had an orange sweater, you were talking about love and the way you love a communal society and I'm like that was so way back but I just you just got me you know and then even back home I have people who will be seated and they'll be like wow we see you here but what you speak what you spoke made an impact if you just said it right here amongst us it would be like wow table talk but you said it on television we respect that. So I believe, for me, it gave me a platform to actually make an impact in my community. Great. Mariam, what did it do for you? It, it did a lot, honestly. Um, I don't know where to begin from. Well, first, it gave me the opportunity to now host the show, because if I hadn't stepped on that stage, you know, I, I would not be here, which is a wonderful opportunity. Um, it gave me confidence. I've never really been a shy person or a person who lacked confidence, but to speak in front of a nation is not the same as to speak in front of a, a crowd of, you know, a few hundred. So um, confidence at a new level, and also to think that I could speak to people and engage on issues um, and actually make people rethink you know their thoughts on things and it also raised my level of um of debate not just as not normal not like a, a structured debate but just how i think as a person because you can't come onto this stage with mediocre ideas and mediocre logic you have to up your game and that challenged me uh it just opened me up to so much more seeing what africa has to offer what kenya in specific has to offer it's it's been amazing so GDC has done that and much more for me. It's a bit hard to put in words. There you go. I've answered my questions. Thank okay, you. Okay, very well. I think it's almost time to wind up. And therefore, we'd just love a few parting shots. Judge Major. One of the things debate does, it, transform, it transforms lives. And I think Mariam was a debater. Austin, you're also a debater. I remember Still one am. time when you were debating, I made a comment and I said, you're debating like a person who has worked in the treasury. You know, the, the, the level of research that you brought, I think that day I remember whispering to Maina. I remember when Mariam debated, I, I mean, the scores were just amazing. I, I, I had to think of comments, you know. If you look at the history of great debaters, we've seen many people making it to the university. You know, most of the people who, are, who have debated, they have made it to the university locally and even internationally. And that's a positive gesture, you know. It means that debaters excel, not just, you know, in, deba in public speaking, but also academically. And that is the impact that debate is having. And I think one thing that I think Judge Nancy made is this conversation, we have just started a conversation, not just here, but even in the dormitories, in the buses, as it has been mentioned, even at home. Therefore, debate is just an awesome platform, and I think this is a great idea to transform our country, our continent, and even uh, the world at large. Mario? <laughs> Parting short. Yes. Uh, I think GDC, this is... Uh, this, it's achieved its goal. People are talking, people are discussing real issues, people are making changes in their lives, you know, with respect to what they've seen. As a debater, I've seen it myself. I have changed so many <laughs> previous mindsets I had because of debate. So I think that it's a great opportunity. I hope it continues for as long as possible and grows to be as large as possible. We love partners like Safaricom and PESA because, you know, they're the reason we are getting bigger and bigger and we hope to partner with them in, in the future so that their dream, our dream, all of us can be realized for well, you know a better Africa yeah. through discussions. Relax, you've got Mpesa, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, relax, you've got Mpesa. <laughs> Judge. I would want to give my parting shot in form of a quote by Albert Einstein. 
And he said this, that the world is too dangerous a place to live in, not because of those who do harm, but because of those who see things happening and do nothing. And I think this is just a wake-up call that I believe it should go to every person, to me, to everybody seated here and everybody watching, that what are you doing to change what is happening around your environment? And case in point, I would want to also want to thank the, the, the coordinators, the Safari Common Pesa, KBC Channel 1, and every other person who has really contributed towards this worthy cause. You may not do much, but what is this little thing that you can do to change the environment that you have? When I get messages of people telling me what difference the great debaters is having in their lives, when I get messages from people saying, um, you know, that, that school didn't get it right, or, you know, and people even advising us on how we should go about it, um, people encouraging us, people applauding us for a job well done, it's very exciting. And the fact that we, we, are, we, are, we are mentoring these young people, a mentoring a very sensitive age, age, age bracket because this is where you make it or you lose it. And the fact that we are such an important part of their lives at such a time is, is just amazing. And so, um, you know, I'm looking forward to a, an even greater time that I'm able to make a difference in the lives of young people and that is something I don't take for granted. And, you know, sometimes just like that parent, when we leave... Um, after a day of judging, we usually go home so content and very satisfied and we can talk about the debate so animatedly, the three of us, for such a long time. And that's, that's, that's just exciting. Austin, let me just allude to Shakespeare. He says, the world is a stage and all of us are actors. Powerful metaphor. That means that if an actor forgets his role in a play, the entire script is doomed, so to speak. Therefore, we as great debaters, we are doing something in this particular stage and we cannot take it for granted. Wow. Your um, parting shot, Austin. Well, um, I won't quote Shakespeare. Oh. I won't quote Albert Einstein. Uh, I will quote me. <laughs> I'd love to, <laughs> but I'll quote a very interesting young man, Austin Nyambok. <laughs> he said, the greatest mind debates with himself or herself and with the world around him or her. That is my parting shot. So we'd like to thank you for being with a part of the journey by watching. And you know, there's, there's lots more to come, way more thrilling debates, way more entertaining, a uh, more national outlook for the show. So we hope you stick with us all the way through the journey. It's going to be so much fun. Um, we're going to leave you now. And since, you know, quotes are, are a thing around here, I will leave you with one as well. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm a believer in the potential that is inside all of us. So uh, I like Ralph Waldo Emerson. Very wise guy said, what lies ahead of us and what lies behind us are small matters compared to what lie within us. So we will leave you with that. Thank you for watching the Great Debaters Contest. And please do continue watching it. Uh, goodbye. I don't know if we wave to the people. Or... Well, bye. <laughs> please don't forget to follow us on, face on, on Twitter and yes. Facebook at Great Debaters EA. That's Twitter and Great Debaters Contest. That's Facebook. The Great Debaters Contest was brought to you by Safaricom M-Pesa.